It's the international contest that was meant to take place in Ukraine. No, not Eurovision. It's the World Cheese Awards, although there are definitely parallels. This year, it's happening in Newport in Wales. We were working hard with Ukraine to deliver that because they've got a burgeoning artisan cheese making sector. But quite clearly, and obviously we had to pull the plug earlier this year, uh, the Welsh Government, uh, in their wisdom and, and, and grateful for their support, said, we'll have it. We want to raise the profile of Welsh cheese makers. It's a total fromage fest. 4,534 cheeses from 42 different countries. So whether you're a fella who loves mozzarella or you think feta is better, there's something for you, even posh cheese slices. This guy's hitting this one with a hammer, though. That's cheese cruelty. Believe it or not, there are some people who are ambivalent about cheese, and I'm sorry, but if that's you, we can't be friends. I've even worn a cheese-coloured coat today. Apparently, it's the hue of a slightly nutty aged gouda. The categories are bronze, silver, gold, super gold, and then there's the world champion cheese, which will be announced later. But what makes an award winner? Let's ask one of the big cheeses. For a start, does it look good? Does it look enticing? Does it beckon you on? Does it smell? What's the texture like? Can I have um, a sniff? You've got your There you go. Woo! <laughs> Woo! <laughs> there you go. And some of them have some unique ingredients. It's like a lime lemon and it's got green ants on it. Uh, and um, I know that sounds bonkers, but when you bite into them, they are ex ants, they're dead ants. Um, and um, they, uh, <laughs> they basically have this amazing citrus hit from these because they're from a eucalyptus tree. Yeah, see, I prefer my fromage without insects, dead or alive. And I hope mascarpone doesn't have ponies in it. Let's check. Smell my cheese. Ruth Liptrot, 5 News.